I'm actually not allowed to say this, but there is something special going to happen at the track. Good morning, comrades. Definitely good morning. It's finally slightly warmer than it used to be last week. It's luckily not snowing. I'm wearing my light year, not winter jacket, so the weather is good. And in terms of content or today's day, it's going to be also very good because I'm actually not allowed to say this, but there is something special going to happen at the track, and I hope I'll be there on time. And I actually need to buy a stopwatch for that. But uh, yeah, other than that, Robert is bringing his LT to get speed today because we're going to do some special alignment. Gonna talk about that. But now let's. Oh, it's really, really warm inside. So yeah, that makes me happy. Soon I can even walk outside without a jacket at all. But yeah, now first let's get to Apex because Diana is already there and I'll explain everything to you there. Hmm, cleaning the track for very optimal conditions, you tell me. Got myself a little breakfast, traditional wise, my favorite Arizona tea, some donuts, and here a coffee for Diana because she's waiting at Apex from 8 o'clock in the morning uh, because they're supposed to deliver uh, cables for the security system. And, well, guess what? As always, we come between 8 and 10. And they arrive at somewhere at three. Um, but uh, yeah, hmm. interesting E unit. Hmm. Why is it here already? Is there something special happening on the track today? I don't know. I would almost say it's too quiet. Hello, drone. Holy fuck. Life of a car spotter at an Evergreen. Ah, there's a film crew. Hello. Did I ruin your shot? <sighs> I should start working on my stamina. But yeah, I could be standing next to the guardrail and with a stopwatch and and saying that to you guys, hey guys, the new Corvette Center 1 has a new Nürburgring record, yay! But reality is, first of all, I don't want to ruin their party, uh, so let them announce it if there is any record. Uh, I, don't, I also want to prevent any legal accusations, if there might be any. And second of all, we saw cars going slow, we saw cars going fast, we saw the casual Corvette, we saw the ZR1 with the prototype camo, we saw the ZL1, the Camaro, which set a time of 7.29 last year. So I'm pretty sure they were just doing a promotional video of how awesome they are and, well, making a video to announce the actual record. But to be honest, today is definitely amazing, if not the perfect conditions for a lap record, because it's not hot, it's chilly, it's not too cold, it's, well, the sun is shining, it's dry, so you have optimal conditions. Cold air for your engine, not too hot tarmac surface and not too cold for optimal grip, so, hmm, who knows, maybe they are doing the actual record today. I cannot tell. I know just as much as you guys now, so really looking forward to uh, to see what the actual fuss is all about. But for now, let's go somewhere else. And in this case, uh, the other place is Atomic because I'm just in time for lunchtime. Let's go get some food. Lunch for us and lunch for cars. 
Impressive. The lunch was good and as I was exiting the gas station I saw some other prototype cars driving by so the Chevrolet or General Motors party is now over and all the other manufacturers are coming out. I also saw the new G-Class so I'm going to the track now and see if I can spot something interesting and while I am on my way to the track over there look at this BMW new 2 series probably facelift about the G-Class, that Porsche. We had a discussion whether I am allowed to call Porsches Porsches, but 991 GT2, probably GT2 RS is definitely freaking Porsche. <laughs> that made me come back to Ohaking because I want that car to hear that car from up close because under load those turbos, fuck. People at Porsche, you lost your mind? That's not good to have such amount of car porn just during the day. It should be illegal. Maybe I should be uploading this vlog also somewhere in the evening. Now just let's hope that it will be here as well and that it didn't finish its testing for today. I don't know about you, but my day is made. What about you? <laughs> I like cars. <laughs> I like Porsches. And the fast forward to... Tire Trade Center am Nürburgring. Because Robert is already here. And he told me that he has some vibration in the wheel. So we're going to get the wheel checked. Whether he had it cracked by going over the curb. Or something, 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 something. That's nice. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so what's up? We're gonna see what I've done to the LT now. Yeah. So so was it Saturday? We fixed my overheated gearbox. Yeah. With oil the... mess. And today we're gonna see if we can figure out if I bent the rim at right try. Okay. If you look, see that right there? Yeah. That's from the curb at right try. Uh huh. So that's where I suspect we should start. Yeah. Probably. No, I always thought the LT had the monolock wheels. The carousel. Lots of good scrapes down here, huh? Not too bad. Yeah, not, not so bad at all. No. I expect it worse, to be honest. It's loud going through there, huh? Yeah. Found a problem. Yep. So there we have it. The problem is found quite some unbalance in the wheel. And now the happy man can go for TF. Well, I guess I'll see you there. See you there. Huh, nice crossbow. And I think that's an MG, if I'm correct. And other than that, Ring Freaks are there, Tito, which has Megan Club Sport, which is actually, of course, a Seat. 
Um, yeah, 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 the amazing up and a lot of more amazingness for today. But there is something very special. I'm not talking about this Bentley, how, although it is quite special to have it at a DF, but over there, that small red and black. Oh, this is also pretty special, but. Real men die like real men, no helmet needed. But this little red and black thing over here, if you watch the very first vlog of this year, uh, let me film the amazing, not so cold, cold start, warm start, if it ever gonna happen. Fire up. Oh yeah. So, Citroen C2 by Krama Motorsport, who I visited earlier this year. The first vlog of this year was with them when they took me out for some jumps on the rally. And apparently, apart from relay cars, they're also building some kind of crazy shit like that. But I see that Robert is back, so we might go out for a lap. What's up? Good warm up lap. Tires okay. Are, tires are ready to go, gotta let some air out. Balance better? Way better. Perfect. Well, after the long day of prototype, car spotting, and so on and so on, it's time for me to hit track. So, let's see what's up. Tilo's brake. Yeah, I saw it. Sucks, huh? Yeah. Hear that whining? Yeah. Nice Supra. Apex check it. Apex check it. With the card pocket? Yeah. Today GTR. Gentlemen, the track is closed. Oh. So the labs were good and now we are or we have arrived to get speed because like I told you previously we're going to get some special special alignment for the LT. And our friends from Blackfish Graphics are here. I heard that they are stickering up something blue and something blue in the case of get speed is the hurricane that you saw earlier a couple of blocks ago something's rattling you know your taillights are loose <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. You got some play yeah. Foggy too, so. yeah i guess you need to buy a new car <laughs> Because race car. <laughs> There's points like coming into ice curve, for example, the car skips in. and you know this is just a stock alignment from a fan. Um, the steering wheel is just a little bit to the right. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not perfect, you know. Okay. And I think that we could clean it up for you something. Okay. So we will start tomorrow. Okay. We will make a, a set down, and then we will talk together again. Okay. To see if we have a problem or not, or okay. Okay. something change, or yes, yeah, to make it perfect. Yeah. See <laughs> what you think of it. Yeah. Exactly. Like I said, there's there's another thing when you come on the Doding or Hua, um, the car really tracks, you know. And um, okay, it, it's not a big problem. You know, it's not a big problem. But I thought, well, that could also have to do with the, with the alignment as well. So, as explained, nothing crazy. There is no particular reason why the car is shit or something. But as always, once you go out and track the car a lot, a lot, you just become 
well, you start thinking that you can improve the car on certain points. Maybe it's a driver excuse, you tell me, but if you have ever built a project car, even this can be a project car, but if, if you ever owned a project car, you know that there is no end to like uh, continuing developing and perfectionizing a car. But uh, one more thing I want to show you before we proceed to the food shot is, uh, like you know, they had some crashes at Get Speed, unfortunately, during the, the qualifying of 24 hours. So this is the only thing I can show you. So we might have another giveaway. I'm not gonna show you all the crashed cars, but something else, which is over here, the Huracan that we saw previously in the previous videos is now completely assembled, is getting also full wrap by Blacklist Graphics, and finally it has new engine, well, not new engine, but just the engine inside. And by the way, if you were an attentive viewer, last time I told you that it had Erlen suspension, which is right now over here because the inner suspension is changed for KW yellow and purple power. Oh, Capristo exhaust, not bad. So to install a Capristo exhaust on a Huracan, you need to take out the whole engine. Well, and now the final and most exciting part of the day after all the prototype spottings and it's dinner and again at La Lanterna. Well, again, yeah, yesterday there was no vlog, but I went to La Lanterna as well. I'm gonna keep it short. I enjoyed today's day. It was full of surprise, not a dull Monday as it uh, usually would be, but a lot of interesting prototype spottings and um, then when well, we went for a lap with the LT, dropped off LT at the get speed, so yeah very very good day so now food and i hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and tomorrow gonna go to get speed do the alignment on the lt tell you a lot more about that and about the amazing system that they'll be using maybe also doing something else who knows but for now food shot nailed it <laughs> Very, very ballsy move. Very ballsy move.